Hello guys, welcome to Dr. Zahir Math. In this video, I am going to solve the differential equation x dy by dx plus y is equal to 1 by y square, which is Bernoulli's differential equation. Okay, right. Bernoulli's differential equation. Why it is Bernoulli's differential equation? And in the right hand side, you can see y square, y power is there, right? Okay. So, first of all, we need to remove this 1 by y square, right? So for that purpose, what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply by y square. First, let me write the equation x dy by dx, okay, plus y is equal to 1 by y square, right? So I already told you in the last video, after using a proper substitution, this Bernoulli's equation will be converted into first order differential equation, which is equation, which is of the model dy by dx plus py is equal to q, okay, right? So what we are going to do, I am going to multiply by y square. When I multiply by y square, I will get x y square dy by dx, okay, plus and then y square into y. So you will get what y cube, which is equal to y square multiplied by 1 by y square, which gets cancelled, which is equal to 1. After that, you should not keep any x along with dy by dx because you look here, you should get free from x variables. This p is a function of x and q is a function of x. So for that purpose, what I am going to do, I am going to divide by x. So I am going to divide by x which implies x y square dy by dx, okay, divided by x plus 1 by x y cube is equal to 1 by x. So now what happens, this x and x gets cancelled. So you will get y square dy by dx, okay, plus 1 by x y cube is equal to 1 by x, right. So we remove this 1 by y from the right hand side or y terms from the right hand side. And in the left hand side, along with the dy by dx, x should not, should not be there, keep in your mind. So right hand side, no y's, okay, keep in your mind. And along with the dy by dx, together with this, there is no x. These are the two steps you have to follow, right? Now, what is the substitution you are going to do? The substitution which you are going to do is the term which is attached with x. Or you can say the second term which is free from x. That term you are going to call this substitution. So, you are going to put z is equal to y cube, okay? And remember, z is a function of x, okay? And y is also a function of x. z is a function of x, y is also a function of x. What is the meaning of that? If I differentiate this one, dz by dx, okay, we can able to do because it's a function of x. And y cube, we can differentiate 3y square dy by dx, okay, right? So, if I am going to call this as z and look after here also, there is something you need to convert also in terms of your substitution, right? So, when you look here, y square dy by dx, you can see this y square dy by dx on the substitution part. So, what we are going to do, I am going to divide by 3. So, if I divide by 3, 1 by 3 dz by dx is equal to 3 y square dy by dx, okay, divided by 3. So what happens now? 3, 3 gets cancelled. So I will get 1 by 3 dz by dx is equal to y square dy by dx. Okay, right. So what happens to this one? Now y square is nothing but 1 by 3 dz by dx plus 1 by x. This y cube is nothing but what z which is equal to 1 by x. Now slowly it is converting into the model dy by dx plus py is equal to q. But it is not dy by dx, it is coming in terms of what? z. You can see it like that, right? So this 1 by 3 is disturbing you. So what I am going to do? I am going to multiply by again with 3. So when I multiply by 3, what happens? This gets cancelled dz by dx and here I will get 3 by x into z which is equal to 3 by x. Now look here, this is your P and this is your Q and it looks like a model dz by dx plus Pz is equal to Q. So this is a first order linear differential equation, first order linear differential equation in Z, which is same like, which is same like 
dy by dx plus py is equal to q. This is a differential equation. This is a differential equation. This is a differential equation. First order differential equation. First order linear differential equation in y. Okay. So if this is your differential equation, what will be your solution? y e power integral p dx is equal to integral q e to the power of integral p dx dx plus c. But now our equation is what? Our equation is differential equation in terms of z. So what will be your solution? Your solution will be z e power integral p dx is equal to integral q e power integral p dx into dx plus c. Okay. So this is your differential equation, right? Yes. Now we are going to do this one. Usually I do this one as step number one, right? And this is your step number two, right? And the whole thing I'm going to write, do it as what? Step number three, right? So what's your P given in this equation? Three over X. What's your Q in this equation? Three over X, right? So let's do step number one. Step number one is we are going to do e to the power of integral p dx okay right this equals e to the power of integral 3 over x into dx this equals e to the power of 3 will come out integral 1 by x dx which is equal to e to the power of 3 1 over x is ln x right after that i am using the rule of ln which is ln 3 for example ln 2 i can write as ln 2 power 3 same thing, I am taking this power to the top. So, it will be e power ln x to the power of 3. Right. After that, I am using the formula e power ln a is equal to a. So, what is your a? Your a is x cube. So, this is equal to x cube. So, this is your step number 1 answer. Let us go to step number 2. Step number 2 is what? Integral q e power integral p dx into dx which is equal to, right? Q. What's the value of Q? Your Q value is equal to 3 over X. So, which is integral 3 over X, right? And then this I got it from step number 1, right? Which is X cube into DX, right? So, this equals integral 3 over X times X cube into DX. So, what happens now? Your X gets cancelled with this. 1X gets cancelled with this. So, which is equal to integral, right, 3x square dx. So, what is the integration of 3x square? Which will be 3x cube divided by 3. 3, 3 gets cancelled. So, you are going to get x cube. This is step number 2. And what is your step number 3? And your step number 3 implies, okay, the whole thing. z into e to the power of integral p dx is equal to integral q e to the power of integral p dx dx plus c right yes so this is equal to z this is from step number one and this is from step number two from step number one i got it as x cube this is step number one and this is step number two right and this is your step number two so what happens this one step number one i got the answer x cube so i got z times x cube which is equal to z number two is also this is also x cube after integration plus c right so now what we are going to do we are going to keep the answer z is equal to after that we need to put the value of what this z also so what is the transformation we give z that is your substitution we gave z is equal to we gave z is equal to which is here right the substitution we gave is what z is equal to y cube this is a substitution we gave right here is the substitution okay right so what happens now we are going to put z is equal to y cube so when i put z is equal to y cube okay this will times x cube is equal to x cube plus c right so what i'm going to do i'm going to divide by x cube to give the answer y is equal to so when i divide by x cube divide by x cube divide by x cube what happens now this happens to be y cube is equal to 1 plus c divided by x cube so this is going to be the final answer if you want you can write y cube equals 1 plus c this you can take it to the numerator to the power of minus 3 so this way of solving this differential equation is called substitution method but the equation is Bernoulli's 
So keep in your mind when I use y is equal to vx this substitution the equation will go for variable separable method variable separable method but in this Bernoulli's differential equation if I use a proper substitution from the question it will go to first order differential linear differential equation first order linear differential equation this Bernoulli's will go for first order linear differential equation right so keep in your mind so in this way solving Bernoulli's differential equation problem to problem your substitution term will differ this particular def substitution will be what we took the substitution as what z is equal to y cube okay so to get the substitution what are the things you need to do right hand side should be free from x that's the first point sorry right hand side should be free from y sorry 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 right hand side should be free from y that is the first point and in the left hand side along with the dy by dx there should not be any x keep in your mind okay these are the two steps follow then how can you take which is z is equal to after finishing these two steps then what is the substitution you are going to take the term which is along with x the second term always that will be your substitution okay thanks for watching have a nice day take care bye bye